In this worked example, we're going to talk about how we actually use the metric to work out how far two things are apart. So let's say we have two points, and for each we know it's x, y, and z coordinates. So in this case we're using Cartesian coordinates. The distance between them, so little distance, this only works if the distance is small. Squared is just the difference in x, which will be x1 minus x2 squared, plus the difference in y, so y2 minus y1 squared, plus difference in z. So that's very straightforward. Where it becomes a bit trickier is if we're using a different coordinate system, like cylindrical polars. So let's imagine we have cylindrical polar coordinates, so we have a z-axis up there. And so for an object, we measure that z value, which is that height. We measure the r value, which is this distance here. And we measure this angle over here, theta. So now let's say we have two objects, each of which we know r, z, and theta. How far apart are they? Well, the metric equation is just that ds squared equals delta r squared, the small distance in r squared, plus r squared d theta squared plus d to z squared. So this is a tricky one. You have to get the distance along here. You have to multiply by the r. So what can you do here? Well, this will just equal to r2 minus r1. So r of the second point minus the r of the first point squared. Only valid, remember, if these things are close together. The dz is quite easy. That's just z2 minus z1 squared. This is a bit trickier. You've got theta 2 minus theta 1 squared, but which r do you use? The r of the first point or the r of the second point? The answer is it doesn't matter. You can use either. They've got to be very close to each other. This is only an approximation valid for small distances, so just use whichever one you like. Let's say r1 squared. And that's all there is to it.